Welcome to the Mother of Wands channel. My name is Volumi, and this is the daily energetic musings where we go over the astrology cards, crystals, and at the end, a little channeled message for you guys. So today is November 15th. It is a Friday, and all the times that I'm going to be using in this video are in Mountain Standard Time, so you can go ahead and base your calculations for your own time zone on that. Um, starting out, you know, we have this interesting movements. Basically, we have the moon making some different aspects this morning, and then it transits into the sign of Cancer from Gemini. That's going to be happening at 9, 11 a.m. And life is going to just feel a lot more Cancerian. What does that really mean? It means just like more gentle, more calm, more sweet, a little bit more introverted, more focused on matters of the home and the heart and security and comfort, right? A great time to spend time in nature or just like run a warm bath, have a nice yummy soup, um, anything that's going to help us to feel more calm and comforted from the inside out. And then later on at uh, 4, 17 p.m., we're going to have uh, that Cancerian moon. It's going to be making a harmonious sextile with Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Now, this is really interesting because we have Cancer, who is that little crab loving to live at the end of, or next to the ocean. And it's just like all about security, all about from here to there. Follow the water. Water is secure. Can't leave the water. <laughs> and then it's like making this really harmonious aspect with Uranus, which is all about rebellion, doing things different, doing things out of the ordinary, right? So we could be looking at new and unconventional ways of feeling comfortable and feeling and seeking that security, right? This could be happening in more unusual ways. So just embrace those kind of weird sides of yourself. Today, that's all we have going on astrologically. It's a pretty me mellow day. Um, we do have the chariot card coming up reverse. Now it's kind of funny because this card is represented by cancer. It's ruled by the moon. It's also associated with Cyprus, which helps to regulate moodiness and menstrual cycles. Um, you know, which cancer is known as being moody and the moon does regulate the the menses. So it's kind of interesting how this card popped up, but it came up reversed, which is saying, you know, this is an advice. Um, it's really advising us don't get involved in any arguments or conjuring up any petty energies of any type, right? This is going to be a huge waste of your energy now, and most likely is going to lead to some type of setback. So this isn't a time for overindulgence or allowing yourself to feel defeated either, right? So don't waste any time blaming other people or even yourself. Instead, spend the energy on solving the problems. So this could really be a warning of a loss of some sort for a few of you. And this could also be indicating that it's not a time for any kinds of rash decisions or acting really impulsively. As far as today's stones, um, crystals, allies that are going to be helpful for today, it's really about connecting with any of those watery ebb and flow type of energies, those energies that connect us to the ocean and remind us that it's an internal flow. Sometimes we have seasons of coming in, sometimes we have seasons of going out, and to realize that it's like a, a long-term investment, like you don't need to check on where it's at every single day, you drive yourself nuts, like check every year, every five years, right? So connecting with any of those stones. Um, those stones are going to be like um, giving us a lot of pa patience as well. So abalone shell, pearl, um, fossilized coral, uh, ocean jasper is a really good one, aquamarine, uh, larimar also, any of those are going to be really great ones um, in this period of time. So for today's cosmic question, when I meditated in on it and I was just kind of sitting, what came forth was, is there anything in your energetic body or in your mental state, you know, in your mind that's sticking out that is needing to be forgiven? Um, is this a person? Is it yourself? Is it a situation? Whatever it is, is there something that that's sticking out that you could do a lot of healing through forgiving today? And are you really ready to go ahead and uh, move forward with forgiving that today? That's what we've got going on today. It's a great energy for forgiveness, letting go, releasing, right? The ocean is great for that kind of releasing energy. Anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me here each and every single day. I will see you tomorrow. And until next time, I'm singing so much bliss in your direction.